When you look at this picture, what's the first thing that comes to your mind? Think about it. I won't say anything. Well, I know it doesn't take probably but more less than two seconds. The first thing that's going to come into the mind of any logical, free-thinking American is the system is rigged. The elections were rigged. Anybody who's been paying attention to current events knows that Bernie Sanders was ripped off. This is the year where America figures out that the electronic voting machines are compromised. Hackers have come out and said it. Professors have proved it. So we got hackers who can prove it. Pref professors who actually go into the detail on how it's done. And yet... Somehow mainstream media is ignoring it. I know for a fact that the electronic voting machines have been compromised. The first thing that comes to my mind is what Mencken said. He said that democracy is a theory. That's what he said. That democracy is a theory. That the common man knows exactly what he wants, and deserves to get it good and hard. You see, if Hillary Clinton can pull this off, if America lets Hillary Clinton win the election through fraudulent, rigged, compromised electronic voting machines, well, I think that America deserves exactly what it gets. Yeah! Deserves to get it good and hard. What's the... Uh, newest story out there. The newest story out is the FBI has released some of the interview. Now most of it was blacked out. Most of it was blacked out under the pretense of national security. Yeah, under the excuse of, no, you can't see that America because it's of national security. You know, I guess the FBI is forgetting that those 110 classified emails Detailing, na detailing the uh, national secrets that Hillary just put out there for the world to see, I guess the FBI doesn't realize that the uh, Chinese, the Russians, the Koreans, just about everybody has already seen them. Hell, even a 12-year-old hacker from Hoboken, New Jersey has probably seen them. And, uh, come on, it's a game. It's a game, but this is what the game is out, the new, the new information out the FBI has released. Uh, is that Hillary Clinton destroyed her BlackBerry. She, uh, she had her staff destroy it with a hammer. Why would Clinton have her people or her crime family associates take a hammer and literally destroy the BlackBerry that made her famous? I think that's pretty interesting. Let's go into it. You know, uh, most of this all came down to a couple things. There was one attorney who filed some uh, documents on the Freedom of Information Act. He wanted to know a little bit about Hillary Clinton's private server. But leaving that out of the equation, the, uh, the Freedom of Information Act played a very important part in exposing Hillary Clinton. But this picture here, this picture that went viral, that Hillary Clinton was on that damn BlackBerry machine all the time. This is the picture that's probably going to bring Hillary Clinton down. This picture is very... It, they, they say that a picture is worth a thousand words. But when it comes to American freedom, when it comes to Americans waking up, this picture might be priceless. You may not be able to put a price on this picture. It may be literally... Priceless, because this is where America figured out that Hillary Clinton was lying to us. And behind the scenes, she was on this BlackBerry constantly, giving national security secrets out, acting like the godfather. Look at her picture. This is what the uh, Secret Service say. She acts like this in private, but then when she gets out there in public to all the masses, she's laughing like a hyena. I mean, psychiatrists would tell you this is probably evidence of a psychopath. She is literally a psychopath. When you see her out in the public with that mouth wide open, and then when she gets away from the public, 
her servants, her secret service, man servants, and all her other women servants, they say, oh, she acts like this, a godfather. Constantly on the Blackberry, uh, contacting billionaire donors. How much money do you have for me to have this meeting? How much money are you going to give the foundation for another meeting? What can you do for me? I'm Hillary Clinton. What can you do for me? What have you done for me lately? You see, I'm the Secretary of State. Bow down. Bow down to this hyena, but when she gets out there to the masses, the common man, she opens that big hyena mouth of hers and she can't stop laughing. Well, most people know she's a psychopath, but what I don't really understand is how she has fooled so many people. I mean, I, as soon as I laid eyes on this creature, I knew she was a fraud. As The first time she walked into the White House, I knew this was the most evil person I'd ever seen. She goes to the Middle East, and she'll say anything and she'll do anything as long as it puts a buck in her pocket pocket. As long as she can get a nickel in her pocket, she'll do anything. And now she's attacking Putin. I mean, this woman is, is crazy. She is literally crazy. And I guess that brings us to our next subject that in the FBI re news release, what the FBI has released to the public is that Hillary Clinton has admitted that she had a brain injury. So this probably explains why she says stupid things when she blames everything on Putin. Maybe it has something to do with her brain injury. So this is the first time. See, mainstream media has never talked about her brain injury, her concussion back in 2012 where she fell down. She had a concussion. She was in the hospital for who knows how many months. She has to wear glasses and look like a godfather because the light hurts her eyes. And this is a brain injury. Brain injury, pure and simple, which mainstream media just conveniently ignores. Yes, you would think that that would be something that would almost be a requirement. If you're going to be running for the highest office of the land, the president of the United States, you would think that your medical records would have to be released. I mean, this is unheard of. This We take us back to Mencken here. It takes us back to Mencken that... Democracy is a theory. It's nothing more than a theory that I think has been hijacked. Yes, the voting machines have been hijacked. Democracy has been hijacked. And if Americans let this witch, this hyena, in to the highest office of the land, well, I would think that America deserves exactly what it gets. And it deserves to get it good and hard. So America... Be prepared, because this witch is almost coming to rule you. She is literally within a voting machine, electronic, fraudulent, software minute away from being your dictator, your next dictator who took over the country through a software program. Can you imagine hacking democracy through a software program? Even the Department of Homeland Security is coming out and saying, oh, I think we're going to take over the whole voting process from the states because we know that hackers have been contaminated, compromised the voting machines. We know that. I mean, I'm, t I'm, I'm so disgusted with the American voters who put Obama in office, who put Clinton in the Secretary of State. The voters didn't even have a say in that. The voters put this creature in as the president because he lied to them. The, the Americans believed everything that Obama had to say, and then Obama put Hillary Clinton in as a Secretary of State, Americans had nothing to say for it. Can you imagine? The Americans back way back then in 2008 said, no, we don't want this lying creature. This lying creature is our president. Even back in 08, Americans said, no, Hillary, go retire somewhere in some swamp. Get out of our life. And then Obama decides to put her back in our life. We had no say in it, didn't we? You talk about democracy being a joke. 
No, Hillary Clinton was put in as a Secretary of State so she could throw away all the national secrets, so she could sell secrets to China and Saudi Arabia and anybody who would give her a million dollars. She could sell all the national secrets, but Americans didn't vote for her. We forget about that, don't we? That Obama lied to us. He said, oh, I'm for hope and change. We'll send the Clintons into retirement. And then he went ahead and put Clinton as his Secretary of State. She gave away the national secrets, and then he acts like nothing happened. Well, I guess that's logical, because if he did say anything, then he would be put in jail also, wouldn't he? Oh, yeah. Hillary Clinton and Obama in jail together. Well, the FBI will never let that happen. Because then, if Obama and Hillary go to jail, well, then George Bush has to go to jail. And then, and then Bill Clinton has to go to jail. So no, the FBI is going to ignore the whole damn thing. Well, those are the current events of the day. The FBI released part of the truth. Most of it was all blacked out. But part of the truth says, yeah, Hillary admitted that she instructed her crime family associates to destroy the BlackBerry with a hammer. And now that that news is out, that she also said that she had a brain injury back in 2012. Now the public knows that Hillary Clinton and her crime family associates destroyed the BlackBerry with a hammer, and she did have a brain injury. If America now wants her, all I have to say is uh, be careful what you ask for, America, because you might just get it and get it good and hard.